Hi, my name's Paul. I work for a company called First Attendance Limited. We specialise in fire safety training throughout the UK. Today we're going to show you the correct way to use a fire blanket. Uh, we only ever recommend you use a fire blanket on a small fire, uh, and our definition of a small fire is nothing bigger than, say, the office bin. Uh, whenever you purchase a fire blanket, when you get it home, please make sure you put it in the correct place. Don't put it too close to the area of risk. We don't want it too close to your cooker and things, because if there's a fire on there, you don't want to be walking around it or leaning over to actually get to the piece of equipment. When you get it home, make sure you fit it to a solid surface. Uh, you'll normally find tabs at the top or bottom of the box. Now, to release the blanket in an emergency, all you literally have to do is give those tabs a pull. Now, when you go to use a fire blanket, before you actually attempt to tackle the fire, try and turn off the gas or electric, because that will reduce the heat uh, element uh, within the fire triangle. When you go to use a fire blanket, you need to make sure you protect yourself. The easiest way to protect yourself is to hold the tabs so they face you, back to the hand against the blanket, and then you literally just fold it in. That's gonna protect you from the radiated heat as you attempt to approach the fire. Please don't hold the blanket too high where you can't see where the risk is, uh, or too low that you're gonna trip over. You literally just want to put arms out straight, weight on the back foot, move nice and slowly towards the fire, and then just place it physically over the top. When you go to use a fire blanket, you need to make sure you protect yourself. Don't hold it too high, you can't see where you're going, or too low that you're going to trip over. Don't attempt to throw the blanket on in case you miss. When you get to this sort of stage and you're close, don't pull away, because the flames will stick to the blanket and they will follow you out the door, and you could actually spread the fire. It has to be just a very quick, swift motion, one step at a time, from there, straight over the top. Leave it on there a good half an hour or so, don't take it off too quickly because by reintroducing the oxygen, there is a chance of reignition. Uh, leave the actual pan in situ for a good hour or so. Uh, at that point, if there's any doubt at all that it's not a safe environment, please pick up the phone, phone the fire service gear, and get them there as quick as you can. Once again, how to use a blanket safely. Very quick, swift motion, straight over the top. Just to recap, we're only ever going to use our fire blanket on a small fire. Before you attempt to tackle the fire, turn off the gas or electric to reduce the heat. If there's any doubt at all to your safety, get everybody outside, phone the fire service and leave it to them. I uh, hope you found the demonstration beneficial today. Please check out the rest of our videos on our First Attendance Limited YouTube channel uh, and give us a call if, if you'd like us to do any training for you.